Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, what's up? My name is Marissa, and this week is going to be a week in my life nursing school online. Today is Sunday. I just I do prep for the week a lot on Sunday, so I've been just kind of writing out my calendar stuff, and I just wanted to give you a little preface before we hop right into the week. I just got off a Zoom call with the group that I have. It's called Maxi Mindset. If you guys know who Arlen Moore is, if not, look him up on YouTube. He's great. He's from Boston, Massachusetts area as well. I just got off that. That is usually from 6 to 7. It is 7.10 right now, and I'm just kind of reviewing my stuff. I'm going to put my stuff into Maxi to plan for the week. So if you didn't see my last video, I basically explained what my program is personally doing. I'm still planning on graduating in a couple months, and we're just doing the best that we can. I have three conferences this week, which is kind of a busy week. I'm usually only gonna have two to three, but I know I have three, there might be more. Good morning, um, I just finished my morning meditation. I kinda just YouTube um, a bunch of different videos and do that. I do have one that I used this morning that I will link down below. Um, so, yeah. It is 9.45 and I am just setting up stuff for this meeting um, to apply to this RN program. The meeting is supposed to be in like 15 minutes, so he's just supposed to call me and we're going to talk about it, I guess. So I just got off the call with him. He's so nice. He's I've talked to him. I've met with him probably like three times over the, over the course of going to... Let me explain. So basically, this whole call was... You have to have a meeting with this admissions person for the nursing program if you want to apply to it. And I applied to the RN program. I missed it by 0 .02 about a year ago. Um, I got my rejection letter. That's why I'm in the LPN program that I'm in right now. It's an LPN to RN bridge program that I'm applying to. So I just talked to him. I made like a list of things I need to do. I have my paper application basically done. I have to drop it off tomorrow or Wednesday. They have a certain time period that their hours are shortened. He explained to me how the admission process goes and I should know about mid to late June. I have a COVID-19 assignment due tomorrow explaining what it is so as a healthcare professional you're educated about it. So which is really good. Um, I just haven't eaten breakfast yet so we're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna eat some breakfast. I'm gonna make a coffee and then I will come back do the schoolwork and get everything done for today. <laughs> My favorite room in my house just because we call it the sun room it just because there's windows majority of the way around it's a four season room if you have any like deck or porch or three season room um, I recommend going out there this is like it's just so nice getting the natural light especially because it's not that nice out we are still getting natural light I usually like to eat my breakfast I just had some eggs and some like multi-grain it's like really thick bread it is so good I just like sitting in here, kind of relaxing. I'm actually in the middle of watching a YouTube video, so probably would end up watching that, listen to a couple podcasts while I'm eating. Just kind of relax and I mean, I'm not gonna be able to do this during a regular school day, so I'm taking advantage of this, even though I know I'm not going back till May or June, we'll see. But yeah, I think today, um, this week is gonna be a very productive week. If you guys, um, have any suggestions about other video ideas that you guys want from this time period, <laughs> let me know. And I respond back to all comments, so comment down below or just if you wanna start talking about something, let a girl know and I will do that. So I am basically just finishing up my assignment right now. I'm referencing the CDC to make my paper. Um, we just have some talking points that we need to discuss, so I'm just finishing this up. It is 8 o'clock. I am going to do some quick yoga and then hop in the shower and get ready for my busy day tomorrow. Good morning. Um, it is Tuesday. I literally just woke up and my Zoom meeting is in 8 minutes. <laughs> oh god. I was up an hour ago and I fell back asleep and now I like went back into like deep sleep. <sighs> okay. Um... I'll reconvene them when I'm on the call. Where we get a gear on how much you're learning the material 
on your own. So it's 10 15 I'm off the meeting and now I'm just printing out objectives for the week outlines for the week I'm going to get ready for the day and then I'm gonna go and drop off my application which I just need to make sure I have everything with that all right now I am all dressed and ready I just got like put on a flannel one of my favorite sweatshirts like some sneakers something pretty comfortable and casual but I do try and get like dressed and ready for the day because it does make me feel better granted today I am leaving my house for the first time and I don't even know how many days but um, I did also bring Clark's wipes with me because I want to wipe down my steering wheel as well as everything that I basically touch because we're not we're not doing that yeah. with no traffic it'll probably be like a good 30 minute drive to the school that I'm applying to so it'll be good just kind of get out it's pretty sunny it's like 45 degrees out which is pretty surprising for March okay, so I just dropped off the application I had to like put on gloves sign in sign out which is a good policy that they have that you have to sign in and sign out now I'm just going to drive around because I have nothing else to do um, and then I'm just gonna head back home and do more work but I'm glad I have that all submitted and I guess we'll see in mid to late June if I get into the program <laughs> Hi guys, it is Wednesday, 2.45. I got up at 10, which you saw, and then I took a nap, like an hour and a half later, because I kind of had a headache. Basically, I'm putting everything into my computer of my Google Calendar, which you'll see in a second, of me putting everything in, and also, so we are all on our own for watching the PowerPoints and learning basically everything. I had like the meeting yesterday, that was for my clinical group. I'm meeting Fridays for clinical group. And then I do, actually I just got an email that I have a Zoom meeting next Monday to check in on everybody. And that is also when we have our first quiz for advanced concepts. I'm taking five classes right now. I am taking, I'm gonna check. We just started the third term and the classes that I'm taking is advanced concepts of nursing, pharmacology three, Family Centered Nursing, which is basically pediatrics, um, maternity, and then leadership and management. But the leadership and management class has not started yet. It's going to start in May, I think. It just because it, it's like less hours of the class. It's less credits. So, yeah. My Google Calendar is on my phone, but I want to like put everything in here and make it like on a big screen and like split screen it, you know. Make sure I have everything in there. Make sure I have all the chapters. And then I'm going to listen to some powerpoints while I eat my lunch and they're like pre-recorded so my professors go through the powerpoint do an audio recording and then they're usually this one's 21 minutes long but they also sent me an email and a weekly topic assignments and quizzes for a week for this week and they basically for every class that we have like they printed out all the topics and I think they're gonna do this weekly just because we're simply like teaching ourselves everything. And it's kind of hard to teach yourself some of these concepts, especially like family centered, which is pediatrics and maternal newborn. I'm just gonna eat my lunch, drink some water, stay hydrated and listen to a bunch of PowerPoint. <laughs> So this is basically, I have all of April mapped out because today is April 1st. So I just put in red, basically the most important. I have a full day to do my quiz because people are working during this thing because we are in, uh, obviously people work in the healthcare field. So they're giving us 12 hours, I think, each day to do the quiz. But once you start, you have a certain time frame. But these are our quiz. They're technically tests. They're called quizzes, but they're basically um, like 50 to 60 question exams. So all of the red ones are super important. Um, obviously these are just holidays, basically everything else. So I do morning meditations, I have meetings, assignments due. I have, let's see, this day looks busy. So next Monday I have um, my 
the quiz that I have to do, my usual meditation. I have a Zoom meeting, and then I usually do yoga at night. So I just usually put it in from 7 to 8 p.m. Sometimes it's later, sometimes it's earlier, but I have tend to be doing dinner a little bit later. So I usually just do 7 o'clock for that. Back that it was elasticity, and they get stiffer if they get calcified. A particular type of arterial sclerosis is atherosclerosis. Well, the current chapter that I'm learning about is cardiovascular disorders or coronary artery disease and also myocardial infarctions. So heart attacks, heart disease. Yeah, that type. Of In our advanced concepts, it's split up into the mental health book that we have and then we also have the advanced concepts books that we also have. Cardiovascular disorders is part of advanced concepts and I just did two lectures on um, depressive disorders and bipolar disorders in part of the mental health book. Moving pretty good through these and like I feel like I'm getting it. I'm an auditory learner so listening to it makes it seep into my brain. Not like doing anything or like reading it. If I read it I wouldn't remember it but if I listen to it I will. So this is actually really good. I have 35 minutes left of this lecture and then I will go on to maternal newborn. This is your reminder to drink some water. I have not been drinking enough the past couple days. I've been only drinking coffee and I can't keep doing that. And I know I say coffee weird. We don't gotta talk about it. I'm back in my usual desk spot. I'm just eating my breakfast and pulling up my Google Calendar. I'm just having some peanut butter on some toast. I made coffee, which actually is like you saw. There was not much coffee, a lot of milk and syrup going into this. So today I don't have anything scheduled. So basically I'm gonna be taking um, blocks of time doing the rest of the PowerPoints and start studying for my quiz slash exam on Monday, which is in advanced concepts. 11.05 right now. I've been up since nine. I've been just kind of doing stuff around the house. I did some laundry, sorted some stuff. Just kind of was around my room, got ready, hung out with my parents for a little bit. And then I was like, you know what, I should probably eat breakfast and go downstairs and actually start some schoolwork. Computer's so laggy today and I don't know why. Today, I plan on doing maternal newborn, two chapters, and two chapters in farm. After I get through maternal newborn, I will probably take a break, eat some lunch, do that type of stuff. I think it's very beneficial to do the set a timer for 25 minutes, work for 25 minutes, or study. For this stuff, I just go through the whole lecture, and like if I feel like stopping, I stop. But then set a five minute timer to do a break, go on my phone, do something, and then I get back into the mode. It, there is a study name for it, I don't know what it's called, but that's what I do. I just set timers, whether it's, I can usually have a strong attention span for about 20 minutes, like 25 minutes. I can be like hardcore, like really studying on something. I can be loosely into it for like 45 minutes but then I do need a break so because I get distracted kind of easily by just like stuff around me. Prenatal assessment um, again begins when the woman suspects she might be pregnant. A diagnosis can be confirmed with an abdominal ultrasound um, that can confirm the pregnancy at about six to eight weeks. So I actually just cleaned out my computer like I did a disk clean because it was being so slow and it's already so much faster so I'm glad I did that. I think because I've been watching so many PowerPoints and so much like opening and closing stuff I feel like I needed to do that so I just finished um, the first part of my maternal stuff and then I'm going to go into my second chapter and then I'm going to take a break after the second one because it's kind of a lot of information. Um, to be taking in, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna continue with this, but I just want to update that my computer is now doing a lot better now because if you also are doing online classes, clean out your computer and like do disk cleanup. I don't actually know how to get to it normally, so I just look up in like the little search bar and disk cleanup and then I just run it with all my temporary files and it gets rid of them. So, yeah. <laughs>
No, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I just got off of the zoom call it is now 10 22 I have a kind of a headache and I like don't really feel that good um so I don't know I gotta do some more schoolwork today but um yeah I have scheduled in from 11 to 3 that I'm gonna do powerpoints and I have a test on Monday that I need to start studying for so it is still Friday it is 2 15 right now and I just woke up from a nap Oops. Yeah, I'm not too proud of it, but honestly, I was not feeling too good. Like I said this morning, I slept for as long as I need to sleep, I guess. Um, now I feel great. I feel very energized. Still have a headache and, like, still really don't feel good. But, like, I feel better. And yeah, so I just want to update you, but I'm not having the best day. But, you know, what are you going to do? We all can't have good days. So I'm just rolling with it. Still got stuff to do, and we're going to make the best of it. I'm going to watch a movie tonight. I'm gonna actually probably restart watching One Tree Hill because I haven't watched that since I was like a freshman in high school. And I saw a clip of it on TikTok the other night and I was like, I wanna watch that. Depression, as you know, requires both medication and psychotherapy. So it is now a little bit later. It's about five o'clock and I am done with doing my farm stuff and basically done for all the school stuff that I need to do. For today on the meeting today we did talk about a couple things for next week i am going to do some more studying tomorrow and sunday just like light studying but um monday morning i have another zoom and i'm also going to like hardcore study for my exam on monday we have 12 hours to do it so i do have i'm going to study in the morning kind of do it later at night so i hope you guys had a good week too whether you're studying whether you're working if you are in the healthcare field i sincerely applaud you right now i have so many friends and classmates that are currently working their butts off over time helping everybody. I wish I could help more than I can. Remember to wash your hands, social distance. Seriously, don't go out if you need to because we're really trying to flatten that curve. Hopefully this video will be out in two days, so this is going to be pretty recent. And then um, if you guys have any other video requests, leave them down below. I will take any requests if you guys want anything specific. I have a couple other ideas, but if you want something specific or any answers, any questions answered, just let me know and I will respond back or incorporate it into a video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and stay sane during this time, I guess. I do post videos every Sunday. I'm getting back into my old posting schedule. So make sure to subscribe to stick around if you want to see more videos because I think we're going to all have time to watch YouTube videos now. So yeah, that is all and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.